Mass wildlife migrations is a natural phenomenon that occurs all around the world. In Africa, wildebeest undertake mass migrations as seasons change in search of food and water. These mass migrations are important for several reasons. For example, these animals are food for larger predatory mammals, such as lions. They're also hunted by humans and have been a source of food and clothing for millennia. Finally, these animals are important for tourism, as many people come to see animals in the wild. Unfortunately, wildlife populations are declining in many areas in Africa. One big problem is that protected areas, such as game reserves and national parks, are too small. Human settlements outside of these areas are expanding and blocking the migration pathways these animals use. In Kenya, the population has increased from 5.4 million people in 1948 to 47.6 million people in 2019, an increase of 780%. As the population has increased, so has the rate of habitat loss, as land is used for houses and farming, leading to the construction of fences and roads, which create barriers to migration. In the Maasai Mara ecosystem in southwestern Kenya, the privatization of land has resulted in fences spreading like wildfire. Wildlife is frequently trapped inside fences and many are killed while struggling to escape. Fences block wildlife migratory routes, accelerating the collapse of wildlife migration. Fences also exclude wildlife from their traditional habitats and watering points. In addition, uncontrolled sand harvesting on riverbeds makes it difficult for wildebeest herds to cross the rivers. Aside from the proliferation of fences, increasing settlements, agriculture, humans and livestock, and construction of roads have also contributed to the collapse of the Mara Luaita wildebeest migration. The Mara Luaita is the last ungulate mass migration in Kenya to collapse. A similar and more catastrophic collapse of wildlife migration occurred from 1999 to 2000 in the Athi Kaputiai ecosystem, which includes the Nairobi National Park, also found in Kenya. However, this situation can be improved. Removing and controlling the spread of fences would help make migration routes accessible again, along with expanding or increasing wildlife conservancies. Roads, railways and oil and gas pipelines should be routed away from migratory pathways. Where this is not possible, wildlife migrations could be helped by building underpasses or overpasses, where roads and other barriers cross migration routes. To initiate these projects, sustainable incentives need to be given to the local people, which would replace the earnings lost from removing the fences. Moving forward, support from the national and county governments is essential to prioritise and accelerate the development and implementation of county spatial plans and ecosystem management plans. This support, in addition to that of local communities, will be essential in safeguarding migration routes and ensuring the future of wildlife populations in Kenya.